Molly axle shafts. Hopefully it uh, solves the problem and we don't. There it comes. Save the vacuum plate. Good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully the wind noise in the vehicles going by isn't too bad today. Today we are replacing the axles, the front axles on our 2001 XJ. Last year we kept breaking the short side stock axle. So hopefully when we replace it with these nice torque chrome molly axle shafts, hopefully it uh, solves the problem and we don't have any problems this year during mud season with our recoveries. Hopefully everyone enjoys the process here. I'm gonna start by removing our wheel. Hopefully everyone can hear all right with this new Rode wireless microphone that we have. We're first gonna remove our brake caliper. 13 millimeter bolts. After we remove the brake caliper, we then remove the brake rotor and then undo the hub bolts. We did get new 
hub bolts for both sides. You need a pair of pliers to remove the cotter pin. Then there's a little castle and a spring washer. From there, it's a 36 millimeter axle nut. Work it back and forth evenly, and there it comes. Save the backing plate and pull the axle out. We will definitely save this axle for a spare. From there, we'll get a towel and clean this inner hub up. something to scrape all the loose debris out. You really have to watch out if you use sandpaper or anything to clean in here. A wire wheel wouldn't be too bad, but you don't want to take too much material off because the hubs kind of need to be a tight fit. Here's our new axle shaft. Okay. The nice part about these torque axle shafts is they use a full snap ring inside to hold the U-joint caps and they come already assembled with Spicer U-joints. They, it's the first time we've used them. They appear to be a very good quality. The only thing would be nice is if they were greasable U-joints. Installed the dust shield on the new axle. Okay. And all the way on. These are the new hub bolts from Napa. These new ones are a six point design. They're still 13 millimeter.
once you get one lined up, they'll all pretty well line up. It's a little tricky getting everything with the backing plate lined up as well. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion. Still working on getting better with this camera stuff. I guess that's what we'll do. Okay. Run that down, snug. We'll get a new cotter pin and look up the torque spec. If you use a pry bar, it'll help you torque it a little bit easier. Then we installed spring washer. end of the castle. And this one is the correct size. And you'll use a pair of cutters or needle nose to pull it through. This one's a little bit long, but we'll make it work because it's what we have. Push it all the way in, bend that one over, and cut the other side. Put the rotor back on, put the caliper back on. Then, next step is brake caliper bolts. And there we go. Put the tire back on. Torque it to a hundred foot pounds. Use an extension when we're installing these, especially since they're such a deep dish wheel. Sure you start them all on a couple threads. Torque the lug nuts to a hundred foot pounds. You'll want to look up all these specs on your own to make sure. They match your Jeep. They're what I found that match mine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stalling 
these torque axle shafts. The passenger side went well. First step will be the same as the driver's side, passenger side, sorry. To remove the wheel. busy with tow calls, so now we're back at it in the dark. Hopefully this filming comes out good. This side should go a lot faster as it's already been part not that long ago. Well, last season I should say. Tire, Tire off. Cotter pin. Throw cotter pin away. Castle nut. Spring. Axle nut. Washer will come off with with the hub. Rotor off. 13 millimeter nuts, bolts on the back side. These ones will come off a lot easier as they've already been off within the last six months. As you can see, when the U joint broke, did quite a bit of damage in there to the head of the bolt. Hammered the head of that one pretty good as well. And nice and easy. Comes right off. Don't lose the washer. Pull the axle shaft out. About easy as pie. And we'll save this one as a spare as well. Work well this year for us. Because mud season will be here soon. more of these nice new bolts from Napa. be long before mud season will be here. Okay, so now come back over here, put the washer back on, put the nut back on.
torque it down to 175 foot pounds, just like the other side. Use a pry bar to hold it from turning. Spring washer, castle, and new cotter pin. Trim the piece off, throw it in the trash, rotor back on. And then put the brake caliper on. Ratchet wrench. At the top. Had, had to get a new bolt and slide pin because the old one was buggered up. The new one is a 12 millimeter head, so slightly different than the old one. Start them all on by hand. Just run them down snug with an impact. they'll get torqued to 100 foot pounds. That concludes the axle installation from Torque on our 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ. I hope everyone enjoyed. Any comments, please leave them. Also, like, share, and subscribe to help our channel grow. If you would like, tour or an overview of our off-road if you would like a tour or an overview of our off-road recovery jeep please let me know in the comments i'd love to go over it and let everybody know what it is it's pretty much a stock jeep cherokee but uh, it works very well the way we've retrofitted it. I hope, again, I hope everyone enjoyed and have a nice night. We're starting to get a little bit of snow now, so it's going to get busy. But that'll just aid in making the roads muddier as it warms up. Have a nice night.